Welcome to the show. I'm Kathy Ireland. What if surgeons could repair bones with a screw and that screw turns into a bone so that you don't need to remove it? That was the challenge taken on by the team at Centelix, aiming to help doctors, the healthcare system, and first and foremost, patients. Today, we're joined by the founder and CEO of Centelix, Professor Utz Klassen, to discuss how his company's bioabsorbable metallic implant is changing the med tech industry. Welcome. Thanks, Kathy. Professor Klassen, why are surgical implants necessary? Well, because people who live move and people who move sometimes get injured and have fractures. 25 of the 25 to 75 year olds in our population, 30 to 50% have at least one fracture alive. And also there's a lot of bone deformities. So in order to heal fractures mm -hmm. and in order to deal with bone deformities, naturally implants are needed. In the traditional world of titanium or stainless steel implants, the implant either has to be removed after the surgery or it stays in there for the rest of your life. And why is that such a problem? If you have to do an implant removal surgery with a conventional titanium or stainless steel implant, you undergo a second anesthesia risk, mm. a second infection risk, even a refracture risk and other associated risks. If, however, you keep the implant in your body for the rest of your life, you run the risk of undesired immune reactions, mm -hmm. irritations, allergies, even years after the surgery. And that is why the combination of bioabsorbability and stability that our products as the first in the world with the, an official product registration have ever delivered is so important, we give metallic stability for the healing process but the product bioabsorbs and is replaced with human bone tissue, so you do not have to remove it and you do not retain a foreign alien material in your body either. Are there other alternatives to steel and titanium implants already on the market? Yes, our globally unique patented magnesium technology, our Magnesix implants, which provide for metallic stability and bioabsorbability and full biocompatibility at the same time. So the bone is healing, the implant is replaced with bone tissue. You neither have to undergo an implant removal surgery with all the associated risks. You do not retain a foreign material in the body for the rest of your life, which may cause you problems, but you have a well-healed bone without any of the problems that established and uh, conventional titanium and stainless steel technology carry. Professor Klaassen, how does Magnesix work? If we take the example of a hallux valgus or bunion deformity, which many people, mostly ladies, suffer from and want to get corrected, mm -hmm. you usually do a so-called chevron osteotomy, where the first metatarsal bone gets cut in the shape of a chevron, then a compression screw is put in to compress it. And this here is the magic that Syntelix Magnesium Technology can give you. The implant is dissolved, is replaced with human bone tissue, and at the end of the day, you have a completely remodeled bone. Professor Klaassen, what is the main benefit to your patients? Well, compared with undergoing an implant removal surgery with other old established technology, the key benefit of our technology can be summarized very easy. Half the pain, half the suffering, half the cost, half the time, half the infection risk. Wow, that is incredible. And can you tell us more about how uh, Magnesix, how it's made such uh, an impact? Well, it has a unique combination of characteristics it gives you metallic stability, it gives you biocompatibility, full bioabsorbability, which means it disappears over time once the bone is healed. 
It also gives you reduced MRI or CT artifacts compared with conventional metallic implants. And it gives you an ambience which is osteoconductive, accelerates bone growth, and is said to be anti-infectious. Now this bioabsorbable material has greatly benefited my practice and as well as my patients. In terms of my practice, I have now a very good, strong metallic implant that I can use in a spectrum of uh, my operations around the foot and ankle, as well as sometimes around the elbow joints. Uh, this eliminates the, uh, the need for a second operation. Plus it can be inserted through a minor operation uh, incision. Because of the strong evidence that this metal has, I can now also offer to my patients an alternative. So they are being made aware that this, this material exists. And actually in my practice over the past five years, it has become my first choice of metal. But ultimately, my, my patients are made aware that they can make a conscious decision to pick this metal. It will save them uh, the, the fear or trauma of undergoing a second operation. Because any operation carries risk to the nerve, blood vessel, as well as infection. And uh, with the current uh, situation around the world, I think this can also reduce the carbon footprint. Professor Clausen, what is some of the feedback you've received from doctors who've experienced the magnesics difference firsthand? Well, like with patients, feedback from doctors has been phenomenal. 95% satisfaction for a completely new, innovative technology is an outrageously positive number. And um, to give you two examples, one experienced German surgeon has said there is nothing better than magnesics. A leading Singaporean colleague of his has even said that the magnesium technology that we offer is the new gold standard. Magnesium-based implants are clearly the future and an absolute revolution in hand and foot surgery. I have implanted 2,000 magnesic screws and atrodesis star fuse implants for the PIP fusion of the toes. I will say almost every patient that I have treated with this is a success story. I view success as something that patients benefited from this procedure, benefited from a good sound implant and did not suffer any complications. So I will say most are success stories. If I were to pick a few groups of patients that will really benefit, these are patients who obviously fear having an operation or a second one. Example, children and their parents. No one really likes to put a child through a second operation. So certainly this is a huge advantage. The second group will be an adult who has the fear of coming to hospitals, needles, blood. And if you can mention to them that you will only need one operation, you don't need to return after a year or six months to have a second, I think their, their level of anxiety will be very much reduced and I can see that in almost every one of my patients. What has the research and clinical process been like for you? Well, obviously for a product of, um, uh, for a medical device of this quality, you have very stringent and very demanding processes to qualify um, to be in the market. We conducted a hugely successful clinical trial in um, the Medical College Hanover in, in, in Germany. We did a hugely successful three-year follow-up to that clinical trial with 100% patient satisfaction and in the words of the study leader, sensational results. Meanwhile, we have more than 40 international publications which confirm the safety, efficacy, reliability of the product. Um, even speaking about clinical superiority versus titanium. And we have progressed from having one derivative of one product family to having 184 derivatives of six product families already. We will roll out further and we already have product registrations for 70 countries in all continents. Congratulations. Thank you. 
Professor Klassen, what would you say to a patient addressing any uncertainty about your implants, given that they're so new? Well, that never happens. Certainly, as far as I know, the patient choice is usually our product. And as I said, uh, recently a Singaporean surgeon has said to me that literally all of the patients he asks, do you prefer the magnesium-based magnesics implant or do you want a titanium implant, go for the uh, what we believe is superior choice, our product. Um, we. But if there ever were to be a patient who says, well, this is new, can I take it? I would ask him, speak to the thousands of happy and satisfied patients we have already have. Speak to the surgeons who say this is the new gold standard. Speak to the daughter of a patient who wrote us a heartening letter saying mm. she would hope that everybody in the world would know the advantages of this tremendous technology. So I think in the same way that the body loves magnesium, the yeah. patients love our magnesium-based implants. Professor Klaassen, what an amazing success story for you and for your company. And you've also announced that Centelix plans to go public. And how do you expect the, the current interest in biotech and, and the hype surrounding vaccines to support your targeted IPO? I think what we are seeing is that several hopefully many of these exciting medtech, biotech startups of the 2000s and 2010s mm -hmm. are already having amazing successes. Right. Here in California, a company like Bridge Bio in the vaccine world, mm -hmm. uh, if you take uh, Moderna or BioNTech, you see that already not only millions, but billions of people are benefiting from it. And we believe that in our space, we can create similar benefit over time to millions and billions of people. Per today, we are the only company in the world which has official product registration for a bioabsorbable metallic implant for orthopedic and trauma use for Europe and many, many other countries on all five continents. We are the only ones in the world, so we hope that we can also fit into our space and as the protagonists of magnesium play a similarly successful role to those lighthouse companies I've just mentioned. The cause of any treatment, especially when it comes to surgery, it involves an admission to hospital or to the uh, surgical room. This involves manpower, time and attention from many parties. So if you can eliminate this second process in a, a wider scheme of things, costs can be reduced, tension can be diverted to helping other patients. Well, Professor Klausen, congratulations to you and thank, thank you. you for sharing your powerful story. This has been fascinating. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kathy. And thank you for watching. I'm Kathy Ireland.